Tractor and Equipment Company, owned and operated by brothers Gary and Larry Balk. Facing Interstate Highway 71, this modern, eye-catching Alice Chalmers dealership is located just a few miles outside the growing farm community of Nevada, Missouri. When the Balk brothers moved the dealership from the center of town a couple of years ago, they made up their minds that they would no longer be satisfied with any second place. They were determined to reach for no less than the very top. Teaming the superior line of Alice Chalmers products with the best parts and service department in hundreds of miles, the Balks planned to aggressively go after the equipment business of every Class 1A farmer in the surrounding five counties. If that meant head-to-head -head confrontation with a long-established competition, well, the Balks were ready and eager for the challenge. Join us, then, as we move in closer and have an inside look at a unique combination of talent, tenacity, innovation, and a good old-fashioned belief in hard work. The brothers work closely as partners, and their different personalities complement each other well. Gary enjoys working inside, handling the management of the dealership in general, and the parts and service departments in particular. While Larry's love of the outdoors and his gregarious and outgoing nature make him an enthusiastic and informed sales manager, the brothers take time to communicate. They think through, talk out decisions concerning the dealership and its reputation in the community. And also, Larry, we need to talk a little about the youth fair coming up next week. We've got, uh, I've got a list of people who want us to loan tractors for full floats. We've got 10 already definite. Uh, I've heard about the possibility of two more. It'd be hard to cut anybody out, you know. If you had to choose who to take and who not to, it'd be pretty tough. Well, probably you're right. We've tried to get the town to grow. You know, we've, we've got quite a few young people back in professions or own their own business or doctors and lawyers. I think the whole town is going to grow. We're going to have to have that. So maybe we can talk some of the boys into working a lower time and, and you and I can work a couple of nights and get them all ready for them and freshen them, whatever they need, maybe. Make an all orange parade out of it. What do you think? Dad and Pete's done it for 20 years and I, I think we kind of need to keep our image up. Dad is Vernon Balk and Pete was his partner, Alfred Peterson. We were sure glad we got that fixed up in 1947. Okay. A lot of memories come flooding back when Gary and his father have occasion to pass the old building where it all started about 34 years ago. The two partners and three employees quickly let the then sleepy farming community know that going orange was really great. Both Gary and Larry grew up in the small but busy dealership, sweeping floors and washing parts from the time they were 12. From the very first, the business was based on the idea that the heart of a dealership is available parts and outstanding service. I don't care how good a machine you got, Vernon Balk often told his customers, if you can't keep it running, it's worthless. And the customers understood what he was saying and remembered it when it came time to buy. That basic philosophy of customer service and satisfaction has never changed, only intensified since the brothers' decision to go big and move to this 12-acre facility. Here the Bawks have earned a widespread reputation for their outstanding service department. Every farmer in the area knows that if he brings his machinery into the Balk Equipment Company, it will be worked on by a factory-trained mechanic in a qualified shop. The farmer leaves his equipment confident that the service will be done right and finished on time. That kind of reputation in the farming community is worth more than its weight in gold and pays handsome dividends in Brother Larry's sales office with repeat business. Larry's early apprenticeship at the P&B dealership, plus his many years with Balk Tractor, has given him a thorough knowledge of the business and a head full of sales techniques. One simple but effective sales strategy is the large-scale wall map of the dealership territory, which helps keep a visual log of all major sales and serves as a good guide for potential sales. While you're out there, stop and see Larry Buckles and try to close that uh, tractor deal on at 7,000, if you would, okay? Working hard, putting in many long hours, earns Larry the occasional opportunity to indulge in his favorite hobby. And like the trophies on his office wall, most prospects 
sooner or later succumb to his hunting instincts. Hello. Uh, Jerry? Yeah? This is Larry Balk in Balk Tractor. I just had a note here said you thought you might be interested in trading your old 4020 off for a new 7060. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Larry also believes that a good salesman can't wait for business to come to the dealership. He's got to go out where the customers are, in the field. He tries to make it a practice on leaving his house in the morning to make at least one sales call on his drive into the dealership. Well, oh, that's what I was thinking. You still had that tractor, and I was thinking it's what three or four years old now. Yeah, it's 1974. Well, well, it's in its size and age. I think it'd be a good investment to maybe up your horsepower with the ground you're farming now, and maybe go to a new 7060. Another of Larry's little sales techniques is what he calls impulse alley. Simply a row of used equipment placed alongside the entrance road. It's not the kind of equipment a farmer comes in looking for, but if he drives past, sees something he can use, chances are that Larry will sell him what he wants and then help him see a need for something else, new or used. It's always surprising how much customer attention still another little sales idea can create. Larry displays a line of tractors so they can be clearly seen from the highway. If the tractor is not moved in a week or so, he rearranges the line. More often than not, a farmer who's had his eye on that particular tractor will come in and ask Larry if he's got another one like it. Surprisingly enough, Larry does. Gary Bach, as service manager, as well as general manager, has accumulated a few little techniques of his own resulting in a very efficient service management system, which is the envy of every dealer in his town. Almost all of his mechanics drive their own pickup trucks. Gary pays the mileage for making service calls, which they like. And Gary is able to run his service department with only four service trucks, as opposed to ten. With both an electrical and mechanical engineering background, as well as a range of dealership experience, Gary works closely with his 18 mechanics, laying out schedules and workloads which profit everyone. A look through more than 30 dealerships gave Gary many good ideas about traffic flow, door sizes, and general layout. And it was typical of the Bach brothers' determination to go for the top, that 25 sets of plans were drawn before the present layout was approved. Gary's office is strategically located to provide a control center and command post for the entire dealership operation. One window looks out on the shop. A sliding glass panel opens onto the accounting and ordering department, while still another window gives him a view to the customer parts counter and the main dealership floor. His ability to make a quick visual check on the progress of a service job saves a great deal of time and many steps. Yes, they've got it in. There's two men working on me sometime probably late tomorrow and I'll be ready for you. All right, thank you. Every time he looks out into the shop, Gary is reminded of what his young son told him last Father's Day. That's nice, son. Do you know what it is? Well, sort of. It's a million dollars all chopped up. That's nice. That's the first million, and I'll start working on the second million so I can inherit it. Hi, Gary. Hello, John. And that simple window to the shop serves still another useful function. It acts as an effective means of keeping anxious customers from charging into the shop and getting in the mechanic's way, creating a hazard for themselves and the shop staff. While he's doing that, you might enjoy taking up to our customer lounge and watch a little television, get your market reports, and maybe have a cup of coffee. How long do you think it'll take? The Bork dealership provides a comfortable and attractive lounge for customers and their families. It is something that any dealer could provide, but is often overlooked. And because they care about people, the Bork's show an equal concern for their employees, providing a comfortable, well-equipped lunchroom and lounge. As his father did before him, Gary believes firmly in providing his customers with the very best parts department possible. If you can't keep it running, it's worthless, is as true today as it was years ago. At today's Balk Tractor and Equipment Company, 
That translates to a clean, well-lit parts department featuring a king-size counter where customers are served by a trained parts man and an experienced parts manager. So Gary places heavy emphasis on the appearance of the parts department and the attitude and efficiency of his parts personnel. He's aware of the fact that the only impression many of his customers have of the dealership is created solely in his parts department. Part inventory control and bookkeeping is done via the Implement Dealers Association computer. Sales and receipts are keyed into the computer via phone lines. The orders are generated by the computer and after being double checked at the dealership are forwarded to the Kansas City region for shipment of the parts. Another major factor in the Bok's outstanding parts service is a separate parts counter exclusively for the shop with a full-time parts man whose sole job is to provide parts for use in the shop. Result? Mechanics do not compete with customers for service at the main counter. With a reputation for having the best service shop in the area, the box must handle frequent requests for servicing competitive equipment. The best time to sell a man orange is when his green is broken down. If he can bring him to the dealership, he can be turned into a prospect. But he won't do this at the expense of his regular orange customers. Yeah, when you bring your pump in, you might spend a little time over in my brother's office, Larry. He does all of our sales, maybe he can fix you up on those great orange colored ones. And that's how Gary sometimes turns a green owner into an orange prospect for his brother, Larry. The Bulk dealership success is made up of many things. First, they have built up a good customer lead, and they hold those customers with a first-class shop and an efficient, attractive parts department. Every farmer in the area knows that if he buys through Bulk, he's going to get good service, whether it's in the shop or out in the field. The main reason they get and keep customers is because they care. They care about the customers. They care about their employees. They care about the community they've chosen to live in. And with that kind of concern, the people at this dealership just naturally approach every prospect with great customer attitude. They have confidence in themselves because they have confidence in the products they sell and service. And with all that going for them, it's no trick at all to keep reaching for the top.